Hello there, it's Tom Meeks of the Cubify Fans blog and also the Moment of Inspiration users blog. That's moiusers.blogspot.com. We're continuing our introductory series of tutorials related to Moment of Inspiration. And today we're going to be talking about extrude. So let's get right to it. I'm going to my top view and as usual in these beginning tutorials, I'm going to begin with a circle. Now I'm also going to add another circle. There we go. And I'm going to select that circle and I'm going to use that second circle to make a series of circles around the first. So I'm going to go to Transform, Array, Circular Array, and pick a center point. Now before I go on, I'm going to show you why I first drew this big circle. Had I picked a smaller number of circles in my array, I would want a continuous wall connecting those circles. And that's why I drew this circle, just in case these circles did not touch. However, with my eight circles, they do touch, and so it's not much of a problem. You don't know until you actually do it. So it's best to start with that large circle, do the other, and see how things work out. Well, now let's say done. And we're going to select all of those circles. And we're now going to use Construct Boolean Union to just get the outline that I want from those series of circles. Now, I don't want to extrude a solid. You remember when we made the cookie cutter that if you extrude a single line like this, a single shape, enclosed shape, you're going to get a solid. However, I want to make a walled extrusion. I need to make a wall in order to do that. And we use offset to create that wall. Okay, I'm going to select the ones to offset. Now, there's two types of offset. There's through, through point, which is kind of free form, but there's also this thing called by distance. And that means it will snap back and forth at one millimeter. As I go inside, it's going to snap to one millimeter. As I go outside, it'll snap to one millimeter. I don't want to sharp the sharp corners, so I'm going to turn sharp corners into round. And now when I come inside, I have more rounded corners. So now we have a wall that will be extruded. Let's go to extrude. And let's go to the front. Now you'll notice that extrude takes a shape, a 2D shape. And as I pull up, it takes that 2D shape and makes from that shape a 3D object. Well, everybody has this kind of extrude. And um, I don't know of any 3D programs that don't have some form of extrude or this kind of standard extrude. But Moment of Inspiration goes you one better. It has a two-point extrude. And so now when I go up, it will not only extrude straight up like everybody else does, but it also allows you to extrude to a point. Very easy and nice uh, a way to do an extrude. So I'm going to say, OK. I'm going to do extrude again to show you the difference. Now I'm going to pull up here, and we're going to come up there. So now with these two extrudes, I have a very complex shape. Look, I go to 3D, um, click out here, and you can see that I have an extrusion that's a cone-shaped inside and a regular extrusion outside that has a wall. That's fairly complex by itself. But it doesn't stop there with moment of inspiration. Let's go to the front view, and we'll hit extrude again. Extrude also has something called set direction. So I'm going to click here in the center, and I'm going to select my direction. I, I want to have a direction that by the time I reach the top is a little bit away, not too far away, but well, let's say right here. That's good enough. And now I can decide how long I want that. So we'll pull that up there. All right. Now I'm going to swing back out, and I'm now going to do something else. I'm going to draw a curve, and I'm going to take a freeform curve, and I'm going to go to the bottom of the object, select the center, 
I'm going to go to the front, and now I'm going to come up along this direction and out. Now you notice that I'm creating a path, and that path is going to roughly um, follow kind of the angle of the first path, but it's more organic in shape. So let's see what we get now. When I say extrude, set path, and click on there, you'll notice that now I have an extrusion that comes up, swings out, and goes up. And if I look at it from the top, I, you'll see that I have that straight extrusion and I have that path extrusion. I'm going to select both of those. And I'm going to say transform, array, circular, pick the center, and by golly, we have a very complex shape. All right, let me uh, click outside that object here and let me, oh, let's say done. Click out, click outside the object, say done. Now look at this. We have really created a very complex object by just simply using extrusion from our one basic set of shapes. Now, I'm going to go to the bottom and show you one last type of extrusion. All right, go to the front. I'm going to go to Construct, Extrude, and this time I'm going to select Tapered. And I'm going to say, okay, I want a taper of 60, and I'm going to set a distance of minus 5. All right, let me hit Tab, and you'll notice that what I've done here, and let's do minus... Um, I said equals five. I want to say minus uh, five. There we go. Uh, I typed wrong the first time I said equals five, but minus five now brings it down. And I now use the tapered extrusion that was different from going to a point. This time I can control the taper, the angle, and I can control the distance. But because I only use the outside ring of my two original shapes, it's now solid. So if I Go to my 3D view, you'll see that I have a solid bottom, and then I have my top. Well, let's do one better. Let's go to the top view, click out here, center all this up, and now I'm going to select these objects, and we're going to go to Transform, and I'm now moving to a command that's only available in the beta. It, it will be available in the next release version of Moment of Inspiration. I go to Deform and Twist. I go to the bottom, click on here, go to the front, pull up here. So I now have a line up through the axis, right on the, uh, on the Z axis. And that's going to be my axis that we go around. And now I get to choose an angle. I can choose any angle I want. In this particular case, I'm going to choose um, 45, 45 degree angle, and I'm going to say OK. Now, when I say done, it is now going to take all of those objects and twist them around. Let's get a 3D here, and you'll see that I now have twisted those objects around 45 degrees along the length of those objects. Now, what's really cool is I can go in here and select these objects. Okay, those inner objects. And I'm going to go twist, and uh, I'm going to select, go to the bottom again. i got to go through this, get on the center, uh, go to the front, pull it up. There, that gives me my axis, and I'm going to say minus 45 degrees, minus 45 degrees. So now I have my outer group is going in one direction, and my inner group is being twisted in a second direction. Let's click out here, go to 3D, and you'll see that we have a very complex shape now by just using twist, extrude, and a few circles. That's what makes Moment of Inspiration so powerful.